Good morning, dear students of Standard Three. Let's begin with the second part of Chapter Number Two, that is GUI Operating System and Introduction. In the first part, we had covered till working with Windows Ten. Now we'll start with the topic Desktop. Desktop is the main screen of Windows Ten. It contains useful and frequently used items or programs. There are icons and a taskbar present on the desktop. The desktop is the main screen of Windows. See, this is the laptop I have. So I'm explaining it here. This is the main screen of the computer. and you can see on the screen there's a flower this is your desktop screen icons the small graphics or pictures on the desktop are called icons when we click an icon it gets highlighted on double clicking the icon it gets opened in a new window icons represent programs files or folders the small graphics or pictures on the desktop you can see these small pictures these are icons now when we click on icon it gets highlighted i'll show you how see so you can see this is the mouse pointer that is rotating on the screen when you take this mouse pointer or any of your icons see if you select what happens it gets highlighted clear next we read how to select an icon the color of an icon changes when we select it follow these steps to select an icon bring the mouse pointer to the icon step number 1 bring the mouse pointer to the icon that you need to select suppose i want to select this one okay press the left mouse button here i have these two buttons this is left button and this is the right button okay so i am pressing this one you can see the color of the icon it has changed okay next deselecting an icon the color of the selected icon changes to its original color when it is deselected follow these steps to deselect an icon number 1 move the mouse pointer away from the selected icon now here was the mouse pointer move this mouse pointer away okay number 2 click the left mouse button once the icon get deselected first i just move the mouse pointer away from the icon and now i'm pressing the left button of the mouse see it got deselected next topic selecting adjacent icons follow these steps to select the adjacent icons click on the first icon to select it keep the shift key pressed and click on the last icon to be selected number 3 release the shift key all the adjacent icons will be selected so click on the first icon to select it this is the first icon that i want to select okay click on the first icon here i am clicking it keep the shift key pressed and click on the last icon to be selected now i'm pressing this shift key and then i am moving to the other icon and then click on the last icon to be selected click release the shift key 
now I'm releasing the shift key see I've already released the shift key you can see both the icons are selected you can see the change of the color when you select the icon the change of the color appears release the shift key number four all the adjacent icons will be selected these two icons are adjacent one next to the other like this okay clear now move this mouse pointer away press and see it is deselected clear next topic selecting non adjacent icons follow these steps to select the non adjacent icons number 1 keep the control key pressed click on each icon one by one to be selected release the control key all the non adjacent icons will be selected let's see how as given in step number 1 keep the control key pressed here is the control key pressed click on each icon one by one to be selected that means I have to keep pressing this control key I cannot move my hand away from this key then you can see with the help of my other finger I am using this see I am selecting an icon click it once here then here you can see I can select number of icons altogether because control key is continuously pressed again click click like this number 3 release the control key now I am releasing the control key release it is still selected so all the non adjacent icons will be selected you can see all these non adjacent icons are still selected clear that means non adjacent icons are selected by pressing the control key and adjacent icons are selected by using the shift key clear students next topic arranging the icons on desktop follow these steps to arrange icons on a desktop to make it look better number one right click on the blank area of the desktop a list of options called the shortcut menu will appear number two select the view option number three click on the auto arrange icons options from the sub menu number four the icons will be arranged as desired now here are the icons okay now I'm pressing this right button you can see a list of options have come select the view option here is the view option select Click on the auto arrange icon option from the said menu. This is the main menu. This is the view button, view option that I am selecting. And with the view option I can see some sub menu. Here you have to select auto arrange icons like this. Single click. Here are the options how we can select the icons on the desktop screen. next topic sorting the icons follow these steps to arrange the icons in a proper sequence on a desktop number one right click on the blank area of the desktop here is the mouse pointer right click you can see the options that are coming next step number two is a list of options called the shortcut menu will appear this is the shortcut menu that is appearing when we click on the right mouse button now select the short by option you can see the option sort by that is after view here it is sort by click on the name option in the sub menu 
now before clicking on the name option you can just have a look on the icons how they are arranged and how they will arrange thereafter by clicking the name option number one icon that i can uh, tell you is chromium followed by internet explorer then zoom then key google chrome like this now let's see what happens when i click on this sub menu that is sort by and then hereafter i have to select by name okay i'm clicking it on name here it goes see the order has changed number one it's coming now dell then computer then network recycle bin control panel then like this you know the order of the icons have changed now let's begin with the next topic opening a program a program can be opened in three different ways double click on the icon of the program to open it number two single click on the icon of the program to be opened and press the enter key three click on the start button and type run in the search box press the enter key you will see the run dialog box on the screen type the name of the program you want to open in the space provided and then click on the ok button that means we have three different ways how to open a program so let's begin with the number one process so what's the number one process double click on the icon of the program to open it so I'm taking my mouse pointer on the program that I want to open it here it is double click okay one two see it has opened okay number two process single click on the icon of the program to be opened and press the enter key now I will just single click here is my mouse pointer I'm taking it to the icon or the program that I want to open just single click see and then I will press enter again it has opened so that was our number two option how to open a program let's do with the number three option number three option is click on the start button now where is the start button you see here the button here the last button here you can see this is showing start okay you just have to click on this then type run in the search box this is the search box now you here you have to type run r u n run and then press enter key then you have to press enter key you can see which dialog box has appeared you can see in the book as well it is the same now once the run when you type the search box will appear then this dialog box on the screen is there type the name of the program you want to open in the space provided now which program you want to open you can click on this suppose I want to open um, YouTube and then I will press on OK right now I don't have this internet connection that's why it's not running let's try with other one okay here I go I'll just change to the other thing and is paint okay Here it is type the name of a program folder document or internet resources and windows will open it for you okay 
so you can type any of the program which is there in your computer system if you want to go or open that particular program this is the method this is the three methods that are mentioned in the book how to open a particular program students this is the explanation till now that is page number 17 of your computer book till opening a program the next part will be doing it soon thank you take care and keep on reading the topics thoroughly